Uses 2013 Prague. I'm really honored uh, that I can host the opening ceremony of the international competition Uses 2013. The European Union Contest for Young Scientists, also known as USES, takes place in the Czech Republic. Science, maths and technology help you understand our world, contribute to a better society and prepare for rewarding careers. The opening ceremony offers a spectacular blend of music, light, water, fire and even acrobatics on Prague's Krizik Fountain. Well, I hope our stage is big enough to host all of you. The competition brings together 126 contestants from 37 countries. They are between 14 and 21 years old and they have travelled from all regions of Europe as well as from faraway countries such as Russia, New Zealand, Egypt and China. Thank you very much for coming. We are happy to see you. Prague is the capital city of the Czech Republic, which has joined the European Union in 2004. Besides this year's young scientists, the city receives about 4 million international visitors annually. Welcome to UCES! The young scientists present 85 original projects that they have completed either as part of a team or on their own. All disciplines are eligible to take part, from medicine to computing, through to social sciences or physics. The contestants have already won competitions organized in the countries of origin. With this international event, they have moved on to an even higher level of competition. I work with the European Commission as a member of Cabinet with uh, Commissioner Maura Gagan Quinn, who takes care of research, innovation and science. Research, innovation and science is all about the future. and. What we've got here at USES every year is really the very best of what the future holds for European science. We've got the creme de la creme, the top-notch uh, children and, and young people and, and young adults as well uh, from all over Europe and indeed beyond that uh, who are bringing science alive. Alberto Pieri has attended 22 past editions of USES. He's been able to witness firsthand how young people can benefit from this experience. I think that is the most extraordinary experience or program of the European Commission due to the fact that it gives the opportunity to young people to learn science. Europe needs to have more researchers for the future and you, you think to use this, you are preparing the researchers of the future. Here's one of the many projects that has caught the attention of the public. Bertu is a young composer who has developed a powerful visual model that could revolutionize how people grasp musical concepts. I'm from Finland and I've created a new way to teach and learn music theory. You don't have to uh, spend years to studying the basics and, and, and learning the rules, but this way you can see and, and, and do and, and listen and hear and name what music should be about. It, it really is good for musicality, not just remembering and, and doing theory with paper and pen. The model looks like a clock with 12 keys. It allows learners to understand chords, intervals, grades and scales in a simple and playful way. I think it's really much like it's better way for little children because for if a six-year-old uh, or eight-year-old should start with the stave, it's too abstract for them. Here is another project that was sparked by a simple idea but could have tremendous impact on people's lives. This roof, made from recycled plastic bottles, is easy to build and repair and could help reduce pollution and litter. We're, We're from Sweden, Sweden and, and we, we have invented a roof made, made of all used plastic bottles. Yeah, our main focus right now is the developing countries with a warmer climate. Uh, and we hope that we can help people that maybe don't have very much money uh, to uh, uh, improve their living standards. 
by giving them a very easy way and cheap way to build a functioning roof. Gelukkig is verjaardag. Bon anniversaire. Happy birthday. We pass in to my paiva. Hallo, riflelo, snine. Gratis for Fadi today. This year, the competition celebrates its 25th anniversary. Since 89, it has left its mark on thousands of lives and careers. I am an astronomer and come from Italy. And I'm a Jewish member. I was uh, so self-confident in myself that uh, my studies went in the right direction and I uh, became a researcher. <laughs> I'm from Lithuania and I won the third prize in Dublin in 2004. And I think that opened a lot of doors because uh, people started noticing me and not just people who are scientists but also other people from the public and I think it gained, it raised people's interest in science and I hope that other people from, uh, other people, other young people from similar backgrounds, maybe they thought that, you know, oh, I can be a scientist as well and hopefully more people decided to take this as a career choice. The organizers have included a series of workshops and side conferences, as well as fun activities to challenge the contestants' creative abilities and team spirits. When the competition space closes at night, UCIS has also prepared evening activities, such as an elegant black tie dinner in the gardens of the Czech Senate. We're back at the contest venue, the historic industrial palace at Incheba Expo Prague. The UCIS exhibition is open to the public. This year, a record number of visitors have enjoyed not only conversations with the contestants about their projects, but also a range of fun activities sharing the beauty and excitement of science. The visitors have also enjoyed a display of photographs capturing personal visions of science of youngsters across Europe. These photos were entries in a contest organized as part of the European Commission's campaign Science, It's a Girl Thing. One of the things that we're focusing very hard on in general terms, and we've got to stand here today, is trying to get young women involved in science and keep them involved in science so that they, they, they will be among the Nobel Prize winners and, and sort of entrepreneurs in the scientific world. Hello. How are you? Speaking of female talent, here's a team of girls that have investigated how a bacterium could boost crop growth. We're from Ireland and we used a special bacteria to benefit agriculture. So we used three different types of seeds in our lab trials, such as barley, wheats and oats. We actually used this type of tray to, to lay out our inoculated seeds on. These are actually past germinated seeds. We also built a bioreactor to shake out our bacteria on. We used a train set and a connected kit, such as what we'd use when we were kids to play with. We also used a bioreactor to air our bacteria and to agitate it. We did so many experiments, uh, varying from germination tests to alpha amylase tests to field trials. And very interestingly, in our field trials, we found a 74% in, 74 increase in our dry mass, which potentially could be a 74% increase for profit for farmers. Each project is assessed carefully by a jury of 18 well-respected scientists and engineers. All the contestants present their work in English and must be prepared to respond to in-depth questions about their work. 
I'm from Dublin. I'm in a university there, and I'm here to judge the European Young Scientists competition. Well, we look for uh, a sense of science and engineering and exploration and innovative thinking and to look at human problems and to see how science and engineering can solve those problems and kids are very good at that. Okay. The jury members meet every day after the individual judging rounds to exchange views about the project they have evaluated. They follow well-defined criteria and go through lengthy deliberations to reach a consensus on the winners. I'm from the University of Gothenburg in Sweden and I'm the president of the jury this year. Uh, I'm, I'm very impressed by a lot of the projects here and I cannot reveal which one I think is the best so far but uh, yes, I mean, I like some of the simple solutions here. It doesn't have to be, as I said before, complex. It could be something that somebody has, has not revealed before which is just nice that some of the young ones discovered. This year, one of the most striking trends at the contest is a rise of computing projects that propose innovative applications for smartphones or tablets. I'm from Hungary and I created an application that can give everyone a voice. You can form grammatically correct sentences without grammar and language knowledge. You just have to recognize universally recognizable pictures. So, just by one press of a button, I can express a Question. Would you like to wear the black striped socks? Can also give a really huge assistance for those people who are traveling abroad to a foreign language environment. I am Neji Rita. I can only communicate with a device. I would like to report a fire. There is one casualty. Frederick Turner wanted to carry out a genetic study to understand why his brother has ginger hair and he doesn't. But because the equipment he needed was too difficult to access, he simply decided to make his own PCR machine to amplify genetic material, what he calls a DNA photocopy machine. We are back in the center of Prague for the last day of the contest, the much anticipated prize giving ceremony. This year, the closing event takes place in the beautiful Bethlehem Chapel. The winners share a combined 54,500 euros in prize money, as well as other prizes, such as trips to prestigious science events and research institutes across the world. I've had an absolutely brilliant time, and just seeing all the other projects and all the people here, and everybody's amazingly friendly, it's been absolutely brilliant. For a money prize, I think it's always good if you go traveling. So I would really love to go, yeah, travel, see the world, meet new people, and yeah, maybe have the chance to be part of some research project. That would be great. We were laughing and joking a lot, <laughs> whilst the other competitors were, they were a bit more serious. So then I think when we were called out, they were a bit like, what? What's the <laughs> I feel absolutely amazing. It was an honor to represent Canada and I'm, I'm really proud to be able to bring this award home to our country. It's a yeah, surreal experience. I don't know what to say. This has been so big project for me, like almost three years. And well, in my case, the work, work won't stop here, but I don't know what to say. This is so cool. Hopefully, maybe take a break for a few weeks of the project, but then definitely get back into it and start expanding our yeah. experiments. This edition of Uses now comes to a close, but we'll see more bright young minds at the next edition in Poland in 2014. Those are the winners of Uses 2030.
Uses 2013 Prague